Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, I'm G&G and in this episode of the Highland Fling we are taking on Narn County away from home before another tough away game to Keith. We have a home game against Huntley in between them, it's been moved there because of cup games. We do that off camera and see how we go. Uh, our form has been pretty fantastic I have to say, really are surprising uh, the league with our form. Two wins in the last episode, we followed that up with a huge 6-0 win at home to Devonvale. And this was a brilliant performance. 2-0 up inside 6 minutes. Goal from McNabb and Farquhar. Leroy made it 3-0 before half time. We then got late goals from uh, Alan Hughes, Leroy and Ross Gunn. A 6-0 win there. Biggest win of the season so far. Really good performance. Followed it up with a win in the North of Scotland Cup. Second round away at home, sorry, to Montrose, Ross Lee. 3-0 up at half time. Goals from McKay, Gunn and McCaddy. We conceded two in that second half but held on for a 3-2 win. Rotated our team a bit and came away with a win and into the next round of that competition. We followed that up with another 3-2 win. It seems to be our favourite result at the moment in the league and in cup competitions. This was away to Inverurie Locals. And uh, yeah, 2-1 up at half time. Goals from McNabb and McCaddy. They pulled one back for half time. They got level with 25 minutes to go. But Leroy came up big with this goal uh, for us the winner it turned out to be a mistake probably from their goalkeeper but we get a 3-2 away win there and then we followed it up sadly with a defeat in the Scottish Cup first round wanted to try and get a bit of a run in this competition to get some money into the club 1-0 up at half time to Stirling University they scored 2 in the first 10 minutes of the second half for a 2-1 win and we exit the cup in the first round and we followed that up with more disappointment because we took on Borough Rangers in what is our derby game and we were played off the pitch completely. 2-0 down at half time. We were 3-0 down uh, then uh, in the second half. 54 minutes gone, we went 3-0 down. Pulled two back in three minutes. Andrew Watt scored from a corner. Then this brilliant finish from Leroy. He's been in fantastic form. Got us back to 3-2. We conceded straight from the kickoff though. And it was 4-2. They got another in injury time. A 5-2 Derby Day defeat. The fans not happy with that one. But we got back two winning ways against Strats Bay. 3-0 win, 3-0 up at half-time. Goals for Watt, McCaddy and Randall. And a good home win, bouncing back from that derby defeat. Followed up with a 3-2 win, of course we did. We loved that result. Uh, it was Leroy putting us, uh, getting us back level. Sorry, we went behind. Leroy got us back level. And then just before half-time, McNabb put us 2-1 up. We got this brilliant McNabb goal then to go 3-1 up with a minute to go. They pulled one back though still, but we held on for a 3-2 away a home win. Then we went away to Roths, I think it is, or Roths, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe someone let me know in the comments. But uh, we got two goals in the second half from Alan Farquhar and Blair Schneiden, our left back, to hold on for a 2-0 away win and a clean sheet on the road. And then we had the Highland Cup second round tie against Banks O'D and we came away with a 3-0 win there. Go two penalties from McNabb, one from McCaddy and we're into the quarter-final of that competition. As for the league, though, that's the most important thing. We are somehow in second position. 11 games into the season, we are in 11th position. 24 points on the board. We're four points behind Fraserburg, and we're head of Brecon City at the moment. Leroy is the top scorer in the league as well. I expect we'll fall down the, fall down the league eventually, but it's been a really good start to the season, and hopefully we continue that in today's episode. I think one of the reasons for it has been our tactic is working. It's a 4-4-2, pretty simple one, but if you look at the instructions, we're keeping it simple. Hit early crosses in, whip crosses, playing for set pieces, t uh, standard passing and tempo. Uh, our transition is pretty simple too. The goalkeeper's rolling it out to the back line. We're not really trying to, to press or uh, counter-press or anything like that. And our uh, defence is playing a standard defensive line, standard trigger press and a mid-block. I think we're just keeping it simple. We're keeping it as simple as possible. And that is helping us to get results. So here is the lineup for this game. You may see Ironside is on the right wing. Uh, Mark Berry got injured in that uh, Scottish Cup game. He hasn't played since. He is on the bench for this game, but he's not fit enough to start. Apart from that, it is our strong lineup. Players are starting to get link-ups as well. It's all going well. Hopefully it can continue against Narn County. So here we go for this away day against Narn County. They're going with their 4-3-3 formation. They're in decent enough form. They haven't lost in their last four games. They're in eighth position, I think, in the table. For ourselves, we've had four wins in a row since we lost that derby game. And yeah, really, really good form we are in. Let's hope we continue it. Here's the table. Yes, Narn County in eighth position. Ourselves in second. Can we stay there? Are we in for an outside chance of promotion? This start of the season has given us a chance. Highlight right from the kickoff here. And we'll see how... They start the game in possession. Bell for them. Looking to get forward. They go back to Dingwall. Long ball. Can we cut it out? We can. Robertson gets there. Leroy tries to get back. Put a tackle and he can't quite do it. And Bell has it again. 
And now Narn County come through. It is Williamson to Greg. They're straight through here. Oh, they fired over. They could have been ahead inside a minute. Goal kick here. Eddie Flynn to take it. Goes long. And we can't win that one. Pollock goes long as well. That'll fall to Flynn. He does well. And uh, he has the ball now. Only a minute gone. And both teams are looking bright early on. Here's Flynn looking for an option. He rolls it out to Watt. Watt to uh, Patterson. Patterson to Ironside who's playing on this right. Plays a throw to Leroy. Oh, the defender just about cut that out. It's more for them now. Greg. And they come forward on the attack. Greg down this uh, left-hand side with them. Our right-hand side. Here's more on the edge of the box. Back to Pollock. And they're passing around Trotter. And they're looking for an option. Grant, can we hold our shape? Grant is going to take on Schneiden here. It's crossed in. It's cut out by... Oh, penalty given, is it? Oh, no. I thought he got the ball there. It's an early penalty for Narn County. And a chance to go ahead. Wright will take it up against Flynn. Can he save it? Yes, he can. Eddie Flynn saves the penalty. Keeps us uh, level early on here. Big from the goalkeeper. And that's huge. And now we have to defend the corner kick. Grant will whip it in towards the far post. Farquhar is there. He heads it away. It'll probably go out for throwing, will it? No, they keep it in play. But it'll stay. Nil-nil. Okay, Grant to take it. Whips towards the far post. Farquhar is there again. He heads it away. Patterson pushing out. But it falls to Greg for them. Pollock. Trotter looking for space. Tackle comes in from McNabb. Doesn't win the ball. Grant in space here. Oh, Grant. Oh, he's fired it wide. And they are on top. Going here for Patterson. Our first real attack of this game. Patterson down to Ironside. Back to Patterson. McCaddy crosses in. Gun. Oh, he's headed it in. Ross Gun. Fourth goal of the season. And I think they've all been exactly like that. That is a huge threat for us. Is that cross the far post. Gun racing in on it. We worked it really well here. Patterson. Down to Ironside. Back to Patterson. McCaddy whips it in. Gunn makes that late run. Beats his man in the air. Heads it past the keeper. We're 1-0 up. Patterson with the throw in. Down to Leroy. And can he get torn? No. So he's going to have to go backwards to Watt. Watt in a bit of space. Cross to his centre-back partner, Robinson. Into McCaddy. McCaddy needs a runner. Plays it to Snedden. Snedden on to Gunn. The goal scorer. Can he get across? Here he can. Leroy is there. Leroy down to McNabb. Oh, he's put it just wide. But it got a deflection. Defender got a block on that. The strikers almost linked up there. We could have had a second goal in this first half. But here is the corner kick. Ironside to take it into the middle. Plenty of players go up for it. McCaddy back to Ironside. Ironside gets the cross. He's offside though. And with 14 minutes gone, it'll stay 1-0. Free kick here for McCaddy to take it just after the half hour mark. In a great position to whip this in. Goes to the far post. Gunn is there. Oh yes. On the second chance, he volleys home. And Ross Gunn has his second goal of this season. We could have been behind early with that penalty. But we're actually 2-0 up with half an hour gone. And this could be another big win for us. McCaddy whips in the cross. Gunn's first header is stopped by the keeper. He volleys home the rebound. And puts us two ahead. Free kick just inside our half for them. They go along with it. I think we're going to cut that out. Yeah, Flynn comes off his line. Claims that ball. And now we can build another attack. Hopefully, Flynn will hopefully roll this out to one of the centre-backs here. He does to Robertson. Snedden in space out here. He wants to pass it to him. Robertson out to Snedden. Quickly on to McCaddy. Here's Gunn. Gunn has runners ahead of him. Oh, he loses the ball a little bit too easy there. Hopefully we're not too open now. Greg comes forward for Nairn County. Coming down this side. Is he going to get a cross in the box? Patterson gets a tackle in, but it comes back to Greg. To Williamson in space. Trotter. Are they going to get the shot? They are. They've got the goal. It's Liam Trotter. Oh, that's disappointing to concede before half time. It's a really good finish. Maybe Flynn could have done a little bit better. But yeah, they've got their goal. They're back in this game now. Patterson got the tackle in here, but he did not win the ball back. They work it to Trotter, who has the space here. He can take his time, compose himself the shot. Beats Flynn, and it's 2-1. Free kick here for Nairn County. It's the goal scorer, Trotter, to take it just inside our half. He's going to whip it into the box, is he? Yeah, Pollock will run onto it. And he'll try and get a cross in now, and he gets it towards the far post. It's up in the air. Grant takes it down. Grant, Williamson, Greg, it's 2-2. Oh, we've thrown away a two-goal lead in this first half. And the hard work of getting ahead is gone. And it looks like we're going into half time at least level. But there is time for them to get another. Across the far post. We didn't head it away. Gunn won the header. But it falls to Grant. They work it back to Williamson. Then to Greg. Nothing Flynn could really do about it. Too much pace on the shot. It's 2-2. Half time here. Another exciting game in the Highland League. It's 2-2. We were 2-0 up. We threw away that lead. We did have that penalty save early on. So it's probably fair enough that it's level. But when you get ahead that much, it's disappointing to throw it away. Let's hope we can get back in front in the second okay, half. Okay, here we are just seven minutes into this half. Goes long. Berry, who's come on, wins it. Leroy, who's been quiet in this game, but 
has an assist, I think. He's on a 7.1, but he hasn't created much chances here. Berry into the box. He's taken down. No penalty given. Ball is won. And it will be Nairn County coming on the attack. We try and put a bit of pressure on them. They have to go long. And we get possession back at Robinson. And we're into their half again. Robinson to Gunn, who's on a hat-trick. Can he create something here? Cross into the box. We're great. Leroy! Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's barely missed it. No, it's season. But he's missed a sitter there. Throw in here. Down to Greg. Back to Moore. And they're trying to create a cross to the far post. They've got it. Jack, who's come on at left back. Heads it away. Trotter will pick it up, though, for them. And they'll come on the attack as we approach the hour mark. Trotter into the box. Grant, a lot of space. And Robinson just about gets there. Wins the tackle. Boots it away, but gives back possession to them. And it's Grant again. Grant crosses blocked by Robinson. Then they win it back. Another cross there. Wright is there. Oh, they're ahead. Matty Wright. One of the top scorers in the league, along with Leroy. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Blocked that cross, Robinson. But then another one comes in with this uh, to the far post. And Wright heads it in to the ground past Flynn. We have to turn this game around ourselves now. Throw in here. Ten minutes to go. Patterson with it. Can we get something out of this game? Plays it down to Berry. Back to Patterson. Halliday who's come off the bench. Back to Patterson. Cross into the box. Gunn is there. Gunn. Oh, he heads that one over. Could have been his hat trick. He's missed it. Patterson here with a throw in right in the corner. Down to Berry. It's back to Patterson. Back to Halliday. Quickly into Berry. Takes the shot. Hits the crossbar. Oh, that would have been some goal from Berry. But it goes out off the crossbar, off a defender. And out for a corner kick. Six minutes to go. We're putting the pressure on. McCaddy to take this. Plenty of big men up there. Can he pick anyone out? McCaddy whips it in. Near post. Oh, it's one in the air by Watt. But he heads it onto the roof of the net. Moore with a throw in here. We're over the injury time. It looks like it's going to be a defeat on the road after being 2-0 up. We had chances to level this game up. Leroy missed one. Berry hit the crossbar. And it is a defeat. Oh, that's frustrating. 2-2 at half time. But we're 2-0 up on 33 minutes. And it... Didn't get to half-time level. A quick look at the league table. We're still in fourth position. We play Huntley at home now. And then the next game of the episode will be away to Keith. So we did take on Huntley in that game between our two uh, episode games. And we came away with a 1-0 win, thankfully. Uh, this goal from Leroy. Ross Gunn pouncing on a defensive mistake. Leroy tapping it home. Gave us a 1-0 win. And we came away with three points there. And that lifts us up into second position. We're still in second position, I should say. But we're now only a point behind uh, Fraserburgh. Brecon City right behind us with a game in hand. Teams all around us have a game in hand as well, so the gaps will close up probably. Taking on Keith now, they're down in 70, only got one win all season, so huge chance for an away win here. We have to make a few changes to the lineup because of fitness issues. So Jack Halliday comes into midfield instead of Alan Farquhar, and Ross Gunn drops out of the squad altogether with an injury. So Blair Snedden goes on the left wing, Alexander Jack comes in at left back. Apart from that, we're at full strength. Can we get another three points? First highlight, inside a minute for Keith. They have a corner kick here. Brownie to take it for them. Can we defend this set piece? Can we get a clear? Oh, it's headed well over, thankfully, by Smith for them. And it'll stay in there. Corner kick for us. McCaddy to take it in towards the near post. It comes to Patterson. Is he going to play it back to McCaddy? He's waiting for support here. He does. McCaddy into Jack. McCaddy, Jack. We're trying to work some space here. Back to Snedden. Snedden, Halliday. Patterson out to Watt in space. The centre-back. Can he get across? Into the box, he can. Leroy, oh, he t- could have taken the shot there. Squares it back to Patterson. Oh, takes a huge deflection and goes out for a corner kick. And a chance created for us there. We will have this corner kick. It will be Alexander Jack to take it. He's going to whip it in. An in-swinger here towards the near post. Up goes players, don't win it. Watt takes it down, back to Jack. Did he stay on side? Comes into Robinson. Oh, it's had a clear. Halliday, Patterson. I think our attack is going to peter out here, is it? Robinson in possession, back to Snedden. And it'll stay nil-nil. Long ball played forward and Stewart is going to run onto it for them as we have less than 10 minutes of this first half remaining. Are they going to get across into the box? They are. Flynn comes for it. Oh, he doesn't claim it. Defender has to block that. Oh, a mistake from the keeper. Thankfully, Jack got a block on it then. Snedden boots it clear and we're lucky not to be behind. Half time here. It's nil-nil half time. I think they've been on top, to be fair. We've created a few chances ourselves later on in that half. Then Flynn made the mistake. We got away with it. It's nil-nil at half time. Corner for us. Just over 10 minutes into this second half. Jack will take it. And can we get something from this? In comes the corner kick. Plenty of bodies there. It comes back to Farquhar. McCovra. Oh, Leroy fires that one over. It'll stay nil-nil. In with a goal kick here. Picks out Patterson in a lot of space here. The right back. He can bring us forward into Farquhar. Who, come on, in this second half. Has enough fitness just to last for the second half. So we have him on for a bit more quality in midfield. Patterson bringing us forward. Here's McCaddy looking for a runner. It's Alan Hughes who's come on. On the right wing, McCaddy 
Hughes makes the run. Brilliant from Hughes. He's true. Oh, the keeper makes the save. Another chance missed by us. And we are on top in the second half for sure. But we haven't got in front. Keith holding on at the moment. McCaddy with the corner kick. He'll whip it in. Plenty of bodies going to contest it. It's headed back. McNabb. Oh, the keeper gets down. Makes the save. And we have another corner kick as we go over the hour mark. Keeping the pressure here on. Keeping them pinned in their own box. McCaddy with the corner kick again. That's headed away by Brownie. McCaddy will bring possession back and it'll stay. Nil nil. Corner kick here. Five minutes to go. Jack whips it in. Farquhar. Oh yes, Alan Farquhar. Captain. Steps up big. Late goal. It looked like we were going to have our first draw of the season. But we could have a late winner here. And it's Jack whipping in the corner kick. Farquhar gets up. Wins the header at the near post. Keeper never even moves. We're one nil up. Highlight from the kickoff though. And this could be a huge worry if they get a goal right away. Smith for them. Four minutes to go. Can we hold on for an away win here? And keep our unlikely promotion push alive. Cooper. Crossfield ball is cut out by Hughes. Hughes up to Harold who's come on for Leroy who was struggling. That's poor from Harold. We've given the ball away. Cooper plays the ball forward. Fakwa wins the header. Harold can't get there. And it is Keith on the attack. Cooper playing a true brownie. There's a runner going here at Stewart. A bit of space. Takes a shot from distance. Oh, Flynn wasn't going to save that. Thankfully it's off target. Corner kick in injury time for Keith. We have three minutes of injury time. We nearly have one gone. Smith wins the header. Oh, he's missed that completely. Poor header from their man. Not great marking from us. Looks like we're going to get the win. Highlight right at the end of injury time. Smith plays it long. It run away from our players. It comes to Stewart. Crossing the box. Flynn is coming for it. Flynn claims it much better than in the first half. Full time whistle goes. It's another big win for us. A huge one. 1-0 one away win here against Keith. We're right in a promotion push now. Well, just look at that league table. We have gone top of the table with 14 games played. We've won 10, lost 4, 30 points on the board. Haven't had a draw all season yet. We conceded 21 goals, which is actually up there with some of the worst in the league. But we've scored 35, which has been really, really important. And yeah, all of a sudden, we can think maybe about promotion. Although I think there's too many teams who will eventually catch up with us. Like Farnborough are behind us, they have a game in hand. Brecon City, Bucky Thistle. Uh, Borough Rangers all have game in hands on us I think yeah we're in a good position at least we have uh, not to have to worry about that relegation that we were supposed to be in a battle at the start of the season so yeah what has been the main thing I think has been our home form we're second in the league uh, in our home form with six wins from seven only that opening day defeat which came in the last few minutes of that game our away record isn't too bad we're down in fourth for that but yeah we've lost more games on the road but yeah really good start to the season and when we come back in the next episode, we're going to play uh, Bucky Tissel, who are one of the teams tipped to be pushed for promotion. They're fourth at the moment with a game in hand on us. That could be a vital away game. And we're going to do our first cup game of this series, the Highland Cup quarterfinal against Forest Mechanics. I'd love to win that competition because there's a little bit of prize money, which we would need. It would help us a lot. But yeah, that's a real good cup game to come back for a quarterfinal of the cup and Bucky Tissel in the league. If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like on the video. Oh, it's good to see more likes and the people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedbacks in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel to grow and will help you catch every video in the Highland Fling series. There's a playlist on the channel as well if you want to catch up what's happened so far from the start. And until the next episode, please take it easy.